Hey Spartans, welcome back. So when I was at the Doom Eternal keynote at QuakeCon, I was wondering when will it software reveal the Titan from Hell? And pretty much when I was wondering that, boom! There it is, just standing there wondering how in the heavens is he going to survive the wrath of the Doom Slayer. We actually got to see a Titan at the end of the Doom Eternal story trailer at E3. And you know how this is going to be. I'm going to go full on nerd on this video topic as well and overly analyze everything about this picture and about this trailer because some parts of the titan's body tells me that the titan or the titans from hell are not how we thought they were but before i begin this video be sure to rip and tear the subscribe button as it is my goal to reach a hundred thousand subscribers before doom eternal comes out in november 22nd and if you are already a spartan leave a like share this video with your friends mom dad and grandpa um cat dog and whatever and leave a comment as well. Let's get this video to 6,000 likes for this amazingly blessed picture. Huge shout out to one, if not my biggest fan, Nathan. I love you, Spartan. And tell me, do you think we're going to see the battle between the Doomslayer and the Titan Champion in Doom Eternal? Let me know down below. So, the Titan, one of the most hyped up demons or creatures in the Doom universe, has finally been revealed at QuakeCon 2019. And its design is amazing as hell, so big props to the art team of its software. Every demon design is so unique and so badass. But okay, let's get into it. When I first saw the trailer, I didn't think much about it, only that it looked great. But when I laid back in my room and really, really analyzed the design of the Titan, it got me thinking, the titan that was killed by the Doom Slayer in Doom 2016 was said to be a champion, and the definition of champion is a warrior or knight that did battle for another. For example, did battle for a king, a queen, emperor, and whatever. Because hell is a realm, we can say that the titan from Doom 2016 was a warrior that protected a higher tier demons from hell. But the design of the titan from Doom Eternal makes me believe that the titan race has always been used primarily as a weapon in hell. Just look at all those scars in his chest and arms, chains on his fists and forearms, and other spikes on his pectorals and body. It seems like this titan was being punished and tortured for quite some time. And we can see the same thing in some of the concept illustrations for Doom Eternal as well in the Tower of Babel. We're able to see titans being chained and tortured and some just dead protecting what it seems to be protecting the tower too. We saw similar things happening in Doom 2016 as well. In the Necropolis, we were able to see barons of hell impaled on the walls. Used as a sign of disobedience means death, I believe. So I guess that hell is an absolute realm. Absolute in the sense that if you disobey, that means certain death or infinite torture. So I guess that's why demons furiously attack you like if they didn't care about their lives. Not attacking means death for them anyways. <laughs> and also, the design of this titan is quite different from other designs. So we know that in the titan's race there exists different species for titans as well. And well, I wasn't able to scale the height of this titan demon, like there is nothing besides the titan that lets me scale him correctly, but my guess is that his height is of about 17 to 25 meters tall. Quite small if you ask me, honestly. In Doom 2016, we're able to see a dead titan body in the necropolis just besides the icon of sin, and that thing was huge, like... I'm not even kidding, my guess is that titan was in the hundreds of meters. So this lets me believe that the titan we're going to see in Doom Eternal isn't fully grown yet, and it still has potential to grow some more. But okay, how do I know that this is a titan? There hasn't been any official word about it in any Doom social media. Well. After the panel, after the keynote in QuakeCon, I was talking with some of the id software devs, and I asked, is this a titan? And they immediately, with no hesitation, responded that, yes, this is a titan, not the titan, a titan. So, I guess that this bad boy is not the only titan we're going to see in the campaign of Doom Eternal. This one is specifically for battle mode, and there is no case on analyzing why there's a titan on what it seems to be heaven grounds. 
because the battle mode maps are separate from the campaign. But still, because now we know that this titan might be another one from the one from the campaign, maybe the one from the campaign is bigger. He was walking in between some buildings, so he must be really big. Actually, no. Wait, wait, wait a second. If heaven is really working together with hell or something along those lines, then it also will make sense why this titan from battle mode is in heaven grounds. We're able to see a maker statue right beside the titan, so it is very plausible that hell brought a titan to heaven to have more manpower or firepower in a sense. Anyways, I wanted to discuss a little bit about the species from Doom. As you guys know, some of the demon species from Doom 2016 are not making a return in Doom Eternal, and fans from Doom, myself included, wanted to get an explanation on why some of the demons look so drastically different like the Hell Knight, Mancubus, Baron, Kako Demon, Imps, etc. In the universe of Doom, there exist different races for certain species, so the Mancubus species from Doom 2016 is still alive and well in Doom Eternal. It's just that the forces of Hell decided to use another type of Mancubus to conquer Earth. And that goes the same for the Imps, Hell Knights, Barons, um, Kako Demons and more. So I guess that in Doom Eternal 2 or Doom Immortal or Doom infinite, I don't know, or whatever, we're going to see all of the Doom species in one single game, all of the species for all of the demons, Hell Knights, Barons, Mancubuses, Kako Demons, you name it. So there you go, finally an in-lore explanation on why the demons from Doom Eternal look so drastically different from the ones from Doom 2016. So there you go Spartans, the Titan race from the Titan's realm are probably being punished and tortured by Hell right now and they are being subdued by them to let them know who they serve. I think that if the titan race tried, like really really tried, they could give hell a hell of a time, no pun intended, but because hell was faster on subduing them and like torturing them like psychological torture and stuff like that, now they cannot do it because they believe that they serve hell forever and they are stuck on being just a weapon for hell. It's really sad so give me an F in the comments section for the titans. F. F F F F F F F F It makes me wonder actually, if the titans realm was really a part of hell since the very beginning or if they were from another universe and got absorbed by hell in a way, we now have the terrors realm from the Doom Hunter, the Argodon Hunters. So we now have like three different realms in Hell. We have Hell, Titan's Realm, and the Terror's Realm. So I guess that pretty much most of the demons we see in the Doom universe, in the Doom Hell, they are probably creatures from another realm, like the Argodon Hunters and the Titans, just being corrupted by Hell and turned into demons because you know. When you get corrupted by hell, you turn into a demon in a sense. But there you go, the titan from hell, or the titans from hell, explained. Um, thanks for watching. Whoa, 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 wait just a single friggin' second, my Spartans. So when I was editing this video, I wanted to see if I could scale this titan. I cannot scale him like exactly with like exact numbers but we have a monkey bar in this brick wall right here and for the doom slayer to like jump into the monkey bars to reach the monkey bars he needs to jump so this monkey bar it's like four meters three meters into the air so we can say that the doom slayer in comparison to the titan in this picture will be something like this so yeah this is the Doom Slayer, that's the Titan, so yeah, this Titan is pretty goddamn big if you ask me, like, I think going into the 30 meter mark, so yeah, it's pretty big, but I think, I still think that the other Titan from the other trailer, the story trailer, is way bigger than this one, but okay, again, thanks for watching. <laughs> it's okay, Spartans, please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section, leave a like if you did, and leave a dislike if you didn't, do not forget to follow me on Twitter. Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch in the Discord server. Thank you so much to all of my Patreon supporters. Space Marine section, Daniel Osombra, and from the Wets, and Doomsday section we have uh, Grayson West and Chris Shades Oliveri. Huge shout out to Nathan, Swan Sunk, and everyone that I met on QuakeCon. I love you, Spartans. I'll see you guys tomorrow in a Doom video, I guess. Yeah, bye.